Garland Coulson here, Captain Time, and the topic of the video today is weekly time blocking. So what is weekly time blocking? It's a technique that I recommend uh, all the time for people. And what it is, is it's really just figuring out what are the main categories, the main projects that you end up working on in your work, and then setting aside blocks of time to work on each of those projects. And this really helps because it makes sure that you're not letting important projects slip, slip through your fingers and, and not, get, not get worked on. So let's have a look here at a Monday through Friday, um, you know, a series of time blocks. And what I've done is I've just set up a table that shows, you know, 9 to 11, 10 to 11 in one hour blocks. So this is done using Notion, but you could do this in a spreadsheet. You could do this in Microsoft Word. You could really do it in anything else. I just like the fact that Notion makes it so easy to do this. Now you notice I have section here for break and exercise that I've already already put in place and that's to make sure that you do take your lunch break and uh, I usually take a 20 minute walk on my lunch as well to give me a bit of exercise and recharge me for the afternoon. So Monday morning, what are you going to work on? You know, first thing when you come in in the morning. So let's have a look here and, and what, sh what should be done. You may have to kind of check your email because of over the weekend. So maybe we'll just put that in the first block. Then let's say your next two blocks might be something like um, perhaps product development. Let's go, you know, we're going to work in product development that day. Uh, let's check out, oh, you got two meetings this week. So let's put in when those meeting times are so we make sure that they're, they're set aside so you don't miss any of your meetings. And what to do after lunch on Monday. So let's say that, okay, at this point we're going to do, um, you know, a couple of hours of marketing and you know let's maybe take the last hour to uh, relook at email admin and maybe some professional development in the afternoon there now i i usually don't do email in the morning i just thought we'd look at it in the morning because of the fact that monday was really busy so you know let's look at something else let's maybe do two hours of human resources and training and then maybe let's do check your email at 11 you know admin get that work uh, this is a short short time here, so let's perhaps slide in another professional development session here, and let's take the afternoon here and do you know some more some more uh, product development. So you can see how this works. It's a pull down menu. You can easily lay it out. So what happens is if you came in Tuesday morning and say, oh, Tuesday morning's human resources and training, you would then pull up your task management system and filter it to show only your human resources and training tasks, which might be things like, um, you know, performance management for your staff, like learning how to, how to coach them properly, uh, doing, working on the performance reviews so you don't suddenly have to do them all in the last week before they're due. Uh, it could be, you know, coaching your staff, um, analyzing their performances, helping with goal setting. It could be things such as helping them uh, plan their career path. Marketing, you know, all your various marketing tasks you can put into, you know, put into some of these. And but by setting aside a couple of hour blocks for each of these, it really helps make this work. Highly recommend you take perhaps Friday afternoon, maybe the last two blocks, set them aside for planning, uh, and a way to, you know, make sure that you, you um, are plan for the next week. That way when you hit the ground on Monday, you'll be able to hit the ground running and you know everything's taken care of. Now, these are just examples of things I chose that might apply to most people. If you've got no marketing, uh, you know, blocks of time because marketing is not what you're supposed to be doing, then that's fine. Just, you know, figure out what these are for you uh, to make sure that you're setting aside time for all the things that are important. In my case, I'm self-employed. If I don't spend 30% of my time marketing, my income dries up. So believe me, I spend about 30% of my week on marketing. So I've set blocks of time aside for, for marketing uh, all the time there. So. 
So if you have any questions about uh, time blocking, you know, let me know. Post something in the comments below. Uh, you know, Notion's a great app for this, but as I said, you can do this with many other, many other uh, things as well. Thanks for listening. Please hit the like and subscribe button, and please, please share this on social media because it really helps us get the word out. Thanks so much for listening. Thank you.